please, I just got a Kindle. So if you don't keep up with me on my TikTok and my bookstagram, I just got a Kindle and I've been sharing kind of my like unboxing, my hauls and things like that. And I wanted to bring a full on review onto YouTube. So I definitely want to go more in depth on my YouTube channel and kind of go over my like thoughts, my initial reaction and definitely what I truly think about it. Is it worth it? Should you go with paper white or regular? Because that's one of my bigger question when I was debating on if I should get a Kindle. It is an expensive purchase, definitely an investment. If you're interested, keep on watching. So let's break it down on which one I got. I actually got the Kindle Paperwhite and 16 gig, and there are three choices, I believe. There is eight gigabyte, 16 and 32. I initially wanted the eight gigabyte with my research that I did online. The eight gigabyte can hold up to like 2000 books. And when you get Kindle Unlimited, you can only check out 10 books at a time. But if you're not going to take the Kindle Unlimited route and you're going to buy every single book you read, then you really just have to think about like, am I going to buy 2000 books? or am I going to buy more or less? And just think about how many gigs you want. Remember that this is only books. If you use like Audible, a part of Amazon, that is something that is also a part of Kindle. I don't know how you would technically use it, to be honest, because there's no like headphone plugin. I'm sure there's a way. It says like you can connect Bluetooth or whatever, but Audiobooks take up way much more space. So if you're gonna use audiobooks, people definitely recommend the 16 gigabyte or more, so like 32. But if you're strictly just eBooks and just like Kindle Unlimited, then just get the eight gigabyte. I think that's like, it's $10 less, but you're saving a little bit more money. But if you think upgrading to 16 gigabyte and that jump from eight gigabyte to 16 and it's just a $10 difference is not that dramatic to you, then definitely go for it. You're just paying like 10 bucks for a lot more space. But if it's not in the budget, then I don't, it's definitely a splurge, but it's a good upgrade for the price. But if it's not in the budget, then I think it's okay. Again, for me, I originally wanted the eight gigabyte, but everywhere was like sold out of it because I wanted to get mine from Target because I had a gift card and you can get yours from like Amazon directly, but I personally wanted mine from Target so I could use a gift card so I could get it with the gift card off so I could save a little bit more of my own personal money. And that is how I ended up with the 16 gigabyte. Another big thing that I was kind of debating about was the regular and the paper white. I also did an Amazon poll. <laughs> That's not true. I did an Instagram poll. Majority of people said paper white. Some people did say regular and a lot of people replied and kind of shared me their like thoughts and opinions. The regular Kindle is a teeny bit smaller, like less than an inch. Not insignificant, like it's obviously smaller, but it's not like dramatic. I think it's a teeny bit slower and the screen is definitely a bit more um, gentle. But the screen on the paper white where people say it's more sturdy, they feel like secure, where the screen on the regular people feel that it's um, not as sturdy, where it's more sensitive, it could scratch. Another major, major thing, I feel like this is the main thing that's like the deal breaker where people jump to the paper white is the warm light. This is the warm light. So basically what it does is it just turns your screen more yellow so you can read at night. Personally for me, I bought the paper white because it was on sale. If I could do it again and if things were original price and there was no sale or anything, I would have bought the regular. The size difference is not really that dramatic. It's like, I think like less than an inch definitely. So it's like this. I would just like zoom in the text a little bit on the regular and it would be okay. I don't use the warm light. I only use it because it's there and I force myself to use it so that I make it feel worth it. I feel like I read with the brightness and it's fine. The screen definitely helps 
with like not hurting my eyes versus like going on your phone or your like iPad or like your regular technology screen. I don't know what it is with like the Kindle reading screen. It doesn't really hurt your eyes. The speed. I feel like the Paperwhite is slow in the sense where I'm so used to instant like refresh and instant loading, but it's fine where like I tap it I wait like literally less than a second but it still feels slow so if the regular is like that but like a teeny bit slower I would still be like patient enough to wait for the page to load as well I think I would be fine with the regular it would still be in black and white and so is the paper white so it's not like the paper white is much of an upgrade either so if you're on the edge of like regular or paper white I would try out the regular and depending on where you're getting it if you're getting it at target getting it at amazon check the return policy and see if you have 30 days or like 14 days or seven days i don't know how long it is and see if you can like test it out and see if you like it or go in store at target and see if you can try it out and see it and then make your decision. I know at my Target, they have the testers out, but they only had the paper white. They didn't have the tester for the regular, so I literally couldn't see the regular. So I only saw the paper white and I was like, okay, I like the paper white. I just couldn't compare it to the regular. So that's why I went with the paper white mainly. That's what I have to say about the comparison of the regular and paper white. I would definitely go with the regular if things were different with pricing like if the paper white wasn't on sale but this is me if you're like a night reader who definitely needs like the warm light i would say look into the paper white because if you need that warm light go for it i personally don't not like gravitate towards it but everybody's different, so do what is best for you. Let's get into Kindle Unlimited. When you set up your Kindle, you get three months for free, or that's what happens for me. Like when I was setting it up, a promo popped up where it was like, congrats on your new Kindle. Would you like Kindle Unlimited for three months free? Click now to claim promotion. I clicked like claim, and then it was like, sorry, error, try again later. And I was like, okay, try again later. The promo disappeared. It literally didn't even give me three months free. It literally disappeared. And I was like, where did it go? I was so sad about it because I feel like that's kind of one of like the perks of Kindle is like Kindle Unlimited and getting to test it out and seeing like all the books you get to have access to. It kind of sucked. Kindle Unlimited itself is pretty fun. You have a lot of access to books. I kind of don't know where to start. There is a main page and it shows you like all the popular books. Like if you were at Barnes and Noble and you were browsing around, that's kind of what it looks like, but it's very like limited. Let me show you. These are what I'm currently reading. I'm reading Mile High, the first book in the Mind F series. I clicked on this last night and then I clicked on this last night. So, and then there's dictionaries that comes with the Kindle. When you get to the homepage, they have a Kindle recommendation. So all that they recommend for you, a new and, oops, see, I'm still learning. A new and notable, so new books, I guess, I don't know. Um, new releases, um, they have magazines and then popular this month, which Beach Read is on there, so. I don't know, things that you kind of already see, I guess. I feel like there are books I see on Booktop that are like, oh, Kindle Unlimited and things like that. Like, there's so much that I kind of like, I don't see that on my Kindle. So I feel like definitely it's a learning experience on how to navigate or like, how to find your favorite authors. But that's all I have to say about my Kindle so far. My thoughts might change in the future. Um, things might turn out a little bit different. So continue watching, subscribe to my channel, check out the description for all my other socials, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm.